If you guys need cheap coins, check out FIFA Coin Stock down below in the description. Dirty at checkout. And if you want cheap games, cheap codes, G2A also down below. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five best fullbacks in FIFA Ultimate Team. No restrictions, no limitations. If you enjoy the content, smash that like button. Can we get 700? Can we get 800 likes? Tells me everything is A-OK. -okay. And drop a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And make sure to include your top five. Uh, because I know things can get heavy in terms of the debates. Jumping right into the honorable mentions, we got DeMarcos. Possibly the most slept on fullback in this year's installment. He's got 93 stamina, 91 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, and a key number, a key statistic, 75 strength, especially post-patch where there are a lot of 50-50s and you need someone who can win some of the physical battles. DeMarcos has been good for me. Uh, Marcelo, who is a very all-around uh, fullback, whether you're attacking or defending. He's got the Brazilian trait where he doesn't like to play defense that much. And and he's out of position here and there. That's kind of what left him out of the top five. And then Philippe Luis. And he's easy to link up with. He got him in the BPL. He's Brazilian. He's good at tackling. He challenges uh, right, right up there. He's a top tier fullback. But he's missing whatever that extra that he needs to really push him into the top five. He doesn't have the juice, the sauce. Uh, he's just got the pudding, but not the extra toppings you throw on the pudding. He's just missing that tad bit of something. Mm, and that's what keeps him out of the top five. Into the second batch of honorable mentions, we got the Brazilian Danilo, and in my opinion, he's the best non-rare fullback in this year's installment. He can score goals, he can defend, he's good at skill moves, and he's got the long shot taker trait. Then we've got Alba, who is fast, fast, fast. Did I mention he's got pace? If you go look at anything that has to do with speed, that entire category is going to be bright green or dark green. He is a zoomer all over the pitch, and that's what's made him very popular. He's kind of small, and he's not very strong. And then we have Clichy, and if you've been following me for a while, I didn't like him last year. I felt like he was always out of position, kind of like Danny Alves. And he's improved this year because I think that EA just gave him such horrific shooting statistics that he actually sits back a little bit better and defends more, and I don't have to worry about the constant out of position, out of position, out of position. And that rounds up the honorable mentions. At number five, we got Serge Ariere who's mushing and pushing. He's a very powerful fullback. I love it. He never gets tired. He's fast and he's strong. You really can't go wrong. A, a true athlete and he should be in a lot of different squads. If you play head-to-head -head and you're using PSG, try him as a CDM. Oh, he's going to dictate everything in the midfield. Ah, Mr. Engine. We've got Peace check at number four and he's kind of similar to Arier uh, in terms of play style, but he's a little bit bigger. He's taller, and he is a more consistent tackler, so it makes sense for him to be higher up on the countdown. I still got a lot of love for Peace Check. At the midway point, oh boy, we've got the sleeper pick of the countdown. Yes, a silver is in my top five, Deke Meyer, playing in the Bundesliga. He is six foot two, and he looks like a center back, but he has a 90 acceleration, a 90 sprint speed, and I would ignore some of his stats. He's not going to score you a lot of goals. You can feel that in match. But his defending feels a lot more consistent and a lot more reliable than a 71. The same with physical. And if you have not tried him out, I recommend it. He's not cheap. I think he's actually going to cost you well over 20,000 coins, depending where the market is, uh, as we drop this video on silver players. But trust, you will enjoy Diekmeier. At the runner-up position, we've got one of the most commonly used and abused fullbacks in FIFA 15, Kyle Walker. He's a 77 overall, but he was built for FIFA 15. He's got the ability to hit it from distance as a quick side note. I score a lot of deep shots with Kyle Walker, 85 shot power, but he's got 93 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, 88 stamina, 83 jumping. What else are you looking for in a fullback? And he is physical enough and he has that presence to deal with players like Ronaldo or Ibra or, or Hazard and he can kind of dictate what's going to happen and a lot of fullbacks don't uh, have that in their locker. They don't have that in their back, back pocket. They're going to lose out in just the sheer not having that X factor or being strong enough to really contend with these premium players. Topping the charts, we've got the repeat offender, David Alaba, and I can't get rid of this guy. Just collectively, he is the best fullback. Uh, he attacks well, he defends well, and then he does everything else in between better than pretty much everyone. If it's passing, it's crossing, it's skill moves, it's deep shots, first touch, dribbling, you name it, he can do it, and it's always at a high level. Even if you go look at his foot head stats, I, I think his lowest statistic is like a 70 or, or a 67. I mean, David Alaba is a special player. He also has a long shot taker trait, which allows you to hit some driven shots for about 30, 35 with, uh, with a sense of ease. He scored some big goals for me this year, and he has the specialty uh, acrobat. 
And as for a defender, when you're recovering on a through ball or you need to make a crazy challenge, oh yes, it comes in handy. If you guys enjoy the content, smash that like button. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA and I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.